It's the end of Zack Snyder as we know it, and I'm feeling fine. Folks, we are here to break out the data, the Nielsen Charts data, the streaming information, the viewership of Rebel Moon. We're here to tell you somebody has been caught. Pinocchios are going out, as it turns out that Zack Snyder's claim that Rebel Moon was the biggest movie on the planet. Yeah, not so much. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pro Channel. It is an honor, as always, that you have joined us. And we are here to tell you the truth as best we can. Something that we find a bit lacking in those statements that came out a few weeks ago that Rebel Moon was the biggest movie on the planet. The number one of Netflix. And maybe for five minutes that could have been true. But looking at the Nielsen numbers now, well, it's harder and harder to believe that anybody thought Rebel Moon was number one. How bad is it? Well, Rebel Moon didn't even come close to breaking what has been sort of those barometer numbers, those milestone achievements that let us know that something's really, really popular. Didn't even come close. Now, is it a terrible, terrible showing on Nielsen? No, that'll probably happen with second or with the second part. But it's, it's not good when your claim was that it was the biggest thing ever for the first week it was out. We're going to dive in. We're going to unleash Tom Connor, who is, uh, well, he's he's uh, he's ready to go on Zack Snyder, and we won't hold him back anymore, folks. Let's get to it right now. Isn't that odd? Who would have thought we'd be talking about Snyder today? But we <laughs> are Zack Snyder. Oh, you uh, brought me on be... the day you're talking about. Sna oh. oh, oh, yes. Lord. It's even. This is a beautiful thing, Tom. It's a beautiful oh, thing. No. Here's why, folks. Here's why we're talking about Zack Snyder. Uh, let's take a look at the most recent Nielsen charts. They are covering December 18th through the 24th. And here's what we've got. Uh, in terms of overall, Young Sheldon in the lead, followed by Reacher, The Crown, Leave the World Behind. And then, not even breaking a billion minutes watched in its debut week, Rebel Moon Part 1. Why is this on our radar? Because Zack Snyder said this was the biggest movie in the world. It turns out... It wasn't even the top streaming item. It was behind Leave the World Behind. And Leave the World Behind, of course, another movie on Netflix. Which means that not only was Rebel Moon not the number one movie in the world, even on streaming. It wasn't even the number one movie in the world on its own streaming platform. So, Tom, I will unleash you upon Snyder. Is this truly the end of Zack Snyder when he's so desperate that he makes these kinds of statements? And we find out Rebel Moon didn't even break a billion minutes watched. Tom, remember, we have often seen films break two billion minutes watched. Not even a billion for, for Rebel Moon. This is messed up. I you're doing this to just, Tom, and you're not allowing him to cuz this is... I know, this is right? Well, great. at least it's good Please. news. So I don't have to worry too much, right? Tom, get your bleepy but, sounds ready to go. Here we yeah, go. Yeah, I do he have my bleeper ready. ready. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, just in case. But no, like, this is kind of funny. And it just, it just isn't indicative of what I've been told by several people when it comes to the Snyder fans, when they got busted or Z Zack Snyder himself or people in his camp got busted using like uh promotional, uh, uh, what do you call it? Firms and, and bot accounts and all this kind of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. PR companies, PR companies. Thank you. Yeah. Cause the, this, they're not as big of a fan base as you think they are. He's, he's a straight to streaming director now, which is the equivalent of what, what a straight to video director was back in the day. And, uh, look, Netflix, if they're, if they're happy with him, good for them and more power to them, I guess. But at this point, this just shows me exactly what I was told. And that was, he just doesn't have the fan base that, that, that the fans that he has are trying to perceive as having, he's got some big fish. Um, that, that donate a lot of money and stuff to the causes. Otherwise it's just a smattering of people that really dig his stuff. And that's cool. I'm not trying to cut down on anybody who does, but I am just tired of these rabid fans acting like he's the, you know, the second coming of the Lord or something like that. Oh, just, where, where is rebel moon part two going to land? If part one oh didn't boy. break a billion and, and how much did this cost again? Anybody remember how much rebel moon cost? I think it was let me double check here i can't remember it was uh, too much I, I think it does start with a two but as, as tom is checking uh panel any thoughts i got on 166 her? million but i don't know if that, yeah. that I think i'm gonna, I'm gonna bet it's top 200 yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna, gonna bet that overall it, it top 200 million 
But uh, Tom, where's, where's it going to land the second one, considering the first one was so poorly received? Might not even make the top 10. Mm, probably a third, a, a third less than that, about on average. So if it drops a third, folks, we're doing this on the fly. If it drops a third from uh, 966, it's going to land somewhere around 600 million. Uh, that would drop it out of the top 10 on a regular on a regular yeah, week. But when is the rated R version or the 10 hour version or the version that has the extra <laughs> 24 hour version with the special hologram coming out? Huh? Tell me that. Fletch, I, I sense that you're cynical of uh, the Snyder's, the Snyder verse. No, no, what, no, what, what, what are you doing over there, Fletch? What are you doing? I'm a big fan. Did okay. you not Let's enjoy the four it's hours a lot of great of versions. Of yeah. CGI Just wait for the director's cut. <laughs> then you can talk. Oh. <laughs> It's going to get better then, right? The director's cut of the director's cut. The director's With more stunning and brave that. slow motion. Yes. It's like uh, it's like DLC for these video games that release and are completely flawed when they come out. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. Just hang in there. Something I just realized. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, uh, definitely not on this list. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. And I was trying to look it up. And, of course, I go to at uh, now it's known, which is Max Twitter account. Um to try to look this stuff up for the Nielsen's, but uh, oh, Sheldon. <laughs> uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, I don't think that made it into the Nielsen uh, top streaming. Uh, not even the top Where 10 movies, all? Jonas. Uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny uh, did not even did not even beat Adam Sandler as a turtle. And I, I think say, Leo. Yeah, Leo. <laughs> I think Leo. I don't think this was Leo's Leo. debut week. Wow. I was going to say, are you looking at the week before now or the week after? Because Rebel Moon's not even on there now. Right, it dropped completely off. Here? No, yeah. we're, look, we're looking crap. at the debut week for Rebel Moon, uh, as well as uh, the, the debut week for Indiana Jones: The Dial of Destiny. Wow! Uh, just like the box Sunk office, Rebel Indy Moon. did not even. But it was the there. number one movie in the world. The number one <laughs> for film like three of all minutes time. by some obscure metric. <laughs> Leave the world behind kicked its butt. It looks like so. Yeah, I don't even and, know. What this Leave the world behind is. Let me look. And before yeah, I've we move never on, heard of that, Tom? <laughs> look, look uh, there's two films that everybody should be looking at in terms of you know. Where is the money coming from in Hollywood? Mario. Super Mario Brothers movie. Doesn't matter that not a single award given to it. They're, they're terrified. Super Mario Brothers movie. Uh, 900 essentially million minutes watched. Barbie at 518. Both of those films already made a tremendous amount of money at the box office. But Super Mario Brothers is being licensed out to Netflix. And that means Netflix is paying for Super Mario Brothers movie. And if you're on the advertising tier for Netflix... Then imagine play. all the people who got to see ads because they watched Mario and how good that was for Netflix. Mario is doing phenomenally well even after the box office. So oh, yeah. I say hooey to all of those articles that talk about, oh, well, Wish is this really great streaming thing. It's going to do extremely well. <laughs> and Elemental took off at the, bo you know, at the streaming well, box. The it's like, no, how about we want all of the that, above? Because that, 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 that's that, what Mario did. That, that. <laughs> And they're using right, that anybody, voice when they're complaining, too. So. Anybody disagree that this is probably the end of Snyder in terms of his relevance at this level? Well, you know, I, I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say, if you put him in the right context, I actually really like a Zack Snyder movie every now and then. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. cringe at everything he makes. I just don't want him in charge of the mainline Superman. And I have no interest in Rebel Moon. Yes. Uh, as soon as I found out it had non-binary non characters, I said, why are you spending this much money on this film that is going to uh, cut out at least one quadrant, if not two? Also, to say it is a dark and gritty Star Wars, you're cutting out another part of your market segment there because guess what? The interest in Star Wars is almost none, and the interest in dark and gritty is... Uh, mm, waning uh if Zack snyder did a movie that focused if he did another dawn of the dead and not army of the dead but like dawn of the dead a small movie that is mostly set in a shopping mall that kind of thing i would be interested but i don't think he's going to go back to doing anything that is not huge in budget i i just i i, I like when they're indie and they're hungry and they don't have the budget and they have to work on a shoestring budget and be resourceful. What he's got now, I think he's I think he's moved himself into an area where he cannot succeed because he has too much cred and he comes in wanting all of this money and there's no way that he can be profitable running a film that has to make 800 million dollars to be successful or whatever the metric is here for uh, Netflix. We'll see if they keep uh, green lighting movies for him. 
Well, my final thought on the Snyder situation is this. If you make the fifth place in overall streaming for, for uh, the Nielsen charts, that should be a win. That should absolutely be a win. The problem is that Zack Snyder came out and called this the biggest movie in the world. And that simply isn't true. So whatever you may think of Snyder, whatever you may think of Rebel Moon, uh, it's a really bad decision, I think, to come out and make a claim that will be falsifiable in about five weeks. And we have a memory that is at least better than a goldfish. So therefore, we checked it. We checked it. And guess what? We're not giving a check mark to uh, Mr. Snyder. It's Pinocchio's five of them bestowed oh, upon Oh, boy. Him. And ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today, but we are not done for the future. We are going to continue bringing you great content. We hope you like it. And if you do, consider clicking the like button, share, subscribe. And when you click it, you stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. Drop a comment down below. Let us know your thoughts. And folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, always keep learning. Always keep growing. And you know it. Keep having fun.